So, as you can see, I've got just a very minimal, very minimal palette. I don't think I'm going to put, put any other colors on here, but I've got some ultramarine blue, which is more of the red um, side, red biased, rather than the green biased. So it's a bit more of a red biased ultramarine blue. But don't worry, any ultramarine blue you've got will work fine. A little bit of mid-yellow and some Prussian blue and some titanium white. It's as simple okay, so as, as that one. Without further ado, I'm just going to get some white up there like that. And then I'm just going to get some ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to go in and make a very, very light sky like this. This is just ordinary, ordinary acrylic. This um, acrylic paint is what I make myself. YouTube. Yes, always on YouTube. All you've got to do is search at hashtag Clive 5 art and all my videos will come up. So if you're trying to find where my YouTube videos are, that's all you need to do is type in hashtag Clive 5 art in the YouTube search bar and you will find all my fantastic videos that I have available. Um, I need these 600 videos there, so it should, should be something for all everybody. A little bit more ultramarine blue, just the dark and the top of that sky. So I'm just putting a little bit of dark in the sky. Don't I, I want it quite subtle. I want it quite subtle. And I'm leaving a little bit of white. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's just get a little bit more blue down, down the bottom of the sky. It's not something I normally do, but I thought maybe, maybe we'll just get that a bit warmer down there, like that. And that's all we need to do to the sky for the moment before we can put any clouds on there I just want to allow that to actually dry off there you go nice and easy nice and easy so now what I suggest you do is wash your brush first so we need to wash that into some let me just move that over there so you can see what I'm doing I need to wash that into some dirty water like that get some soap give it another little rinse and this is sort of clean water sort of clean water I could have cleaned it a little bit better but just rinse that brush and check it on check your brush first onto some tissue paper like that just to make sure there's there isn't actually any pigment coming off it because you don't want to contaminate your paint so but not too bad it's not it's not so bad this time because i'm going into a slightly darker paint now um, which is the um, prussian blue and i want to get a, a nice straight line as close as i can to straight Now if you're struggling with um, with getting straight lines, dry it with a hairdryer, put some masking tape down, and then paint up to the masking tape. I haven't got any masking tape, but I could show you. Paint up to the masking tape and try and get that straight line. And I'm not gonna worry too much about it being dead straight at the moment. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna blur that off in a second. But you can see that's quite thin. There we are. So I just get some ultramarine blue now. Mix that in there like that. There you go. Get a little bit of white. And just blend that in. Like that. Get a little bit more white. Do you want to lighten up the foreground? Just a touch like that. Get a bit of, get a little bit of um, Prussian blue. Just the dark and the, put a bit of shadow in the water like that. There we go. Bringing it up on a arch like that. 
don't forget these are just sample paintings so they don't have to be perfect when you're practicing just practice just concentrate on getting the effects that you want to get and practice blending and practice with your brush and you can put the paint on a bit thicker like I'm doing now just like that just to get that horizon line now this is not very straight actually this is quite a wonky funky a wonk a funky horizon line it's quite a wonky horizon line but it's okay we can play with that and we've got a bit of get a bit of shadow now just under there like that get that come down like that whoosh because we've got to, got to put a wave in there we're going to put a wave in there in a second but what I want to do is I'm just leaving that brush on the side like that I'm not doing anything special I'm not doing anything magic you can all do this I know you can so I'm just picking up a little filbert brush that I got lying around there I'm not even worrying about what type of brush I'm using I'm just going to pick up a bit of yellow now and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of yellow and I'm going to dry brush that into the canvas like this you can see that I, I haven't used any sprays or anything on the canvas to, to keep it moist and dry I'm just gonna just a little bit of just a little bit of moisture just a little bit of moisture just on my brush just get a little bit of green coming in like this a little bit of green there just to give it a now normally when we do wick breakers we we always have the breakers going uh, that way like that Whoosh. like the old Bob Ross breakers always seem to go one way don't they but I thought today we'd do something different because I'm in Wales with a bit what they call cack handed in Wales what is what cack handed what's cack handed that means you don't need a left from your right <laughs> it's, it's an old Welsh saying I'm cack handed well there's a lot of cack handed people in Wales Plus, I'm, I'm not being um, personal or anything, but there is. <laughs> I've lived in Wales all my life, born and bred. There's a lot of cack handedness going on. <laughs> I knew from Wales, anybody out watching this from Wales, I know what I mean as far as cack handedness is concerned. <laughs> so let's get a little bit of white coming in, just down like this now. And bringing that in, bringing that in, melding that in like this, merging that up there like this. Whoosh. Getting that around there like that. Bringing that in like this. Trying to get it to, to merge and meld and meld and merge and all these other wonderful words that we can we can bring into our painting. And just think of it in your minds. Just think of that that waves just go like that. Put that in your head. Get that. Get that in your mind because if you get that in your mind then you'll paint <laughs> you'll paint like that you will trust me that's how it works when I, for those people that follow me know that I've been doing a lot of body um, weightlifting and stuff like that and, and body shaping I'm not a bodybuilder I like to get my, my myself into a certain um, shape now because I'm getting to that age where things are starting to get rusty and fall off and I want to try and prevent that as much as I possibly can because the last thing I want to do is wake up one morning and find out my leg has fallen off because it's all gone rusty and you get to my age things tend to get a bit rusty so what we need to do is we need to work on that there you go get that in there And we, we, it's, it's called when we're working out. Um, when I'm working out in on in the gym, in my little gym that I got, I got four sheds now. Four, four sheds. Jane's going to kill me. Clive, you're not having another shed. She said. I said, well, I've got to have another shed, love. What am I going to? What am I going to do with all my weights and things like that? Well, she said you got three sheds. I said, well, I haven't got three sheds. I said I haven't got three sheds. I've got a studio. 
which is a nice big summer house shed, <laughs> a studio. I got a little tiny gym, which um, I got my little spinner bike in there, my little cross trainer in there, and I got my dumbbells and things like that at the moment shed. to put my gym stuff in because I've got all these weights and stuff now and barbells and things like that. And, um, you know, I really, I really do need another shed. Well, and I convinced her anyway, so she's, she's in agreement with me at the moment. She's in agreement with me at the moment, but she hasn't seen how big the shed is yet. <laughs> I don't tell her. <laughs> I don't tell her how big the shed is because she, 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 she might be, she might shout at me. So we need to get some shadow into this water now. Get some, get some swell going on. There we go. It's a little breaker. So just a little bit of white and blue mixed in my my my, my brush like this and I just get these little things coming off like that. Just dry brush, dry brush, very little paint on the brush, very little paint, very little paint on the brush just to get that little foam effects. Don't worry about don't concentrate too much on foam. Foam is foam. There is no there's no shape. There's no shape and set side, um, set pattern to foam. So don't worry about it. So just put a little bit of that on there like that. Just put a little bit of that. Shh. Just, just break in. And that's coming down in there like that. And you get the edge of the brush in. You can put a couple of thin lines in. Just like that. And we'll, we'll, we'll put a few more in in a minute with a very thin brush. Just to get some. And we have to put some shadows in as well. We will. So we'll, we need to put a little bit of... That's coming to the other side of that one, like that. <laughs> see the see the colour, see the colour. It's just picking up that. They've got a little bit of green in the water. It's just got a bit of green in the water like that. And and it, and it certainly have around where I live. So I don't know. It might not have where you are, but it's certainly where where I live. That's what it looks like. There you go. We can get a little bit more yellow. Get a little bit more yellow just flicking in there like as if there's a little bit of light coming through a little bit of light nice bit of blue let's get a bit of blue let's get a little bit of this let's get a little bit of this it's Prussian blue now get a bit of Prussian blue on my on my brush and I just want to put a little bit of shadow just just under there like that just under there like that get that down there So I got all these, I got all these sheds now. I got all these sheds, and I was saying, we're missing memory. When you when you're lifting weights and things, like that, you've, you've got to you've got to look at your muscles and you've got to go, Whoa, I'm going to grow that muscle. Whoa! <laughs> you really have. You really, it's got to have a muscle muscle mind connection. Otherwise, things aren't going to work as you want them to. Because we can press weights all day like this, and but if you haven't got that connection, if you haven't got that connection, then it's not going to work. And the point I'm getting at, because we're having some fun in the studio today, the point I'm getting at is you've got to have that connection with your painting as well. Because if you don't get that connection with a the painting, then it's not going to be the way you want it to be. So when you're painting waves, think of waves. Think of waves in your mind. Shh, get that, get that noise going into your brain. And you think, yeah, whoosh, tsh, cracking, cracking, cracking up on the, on the rocks or whatever you're painting. If you're thinking of rocks and paint some rocks we need to put some light the foam patterns in so I'm just picking up some just pure titanium white just to get in a little bit of foam there now and then just roll in the brush roll in the brush round like that just to get that effect that of that the waves just crashing away like this and get that brush Bring it down, and you get that that the way the wa the wave folds, the folds, the way the wave folds. Because what ha what happens? Can you see? Can I see? Can I show? Can I show this one? Can I paint that? Yeah, I can. Okay, so what happens? So there's a di there's a direction of the of the waves, and the waves come in like this. The waves come in like that, and you've got the back flow of the water going that way, 
So when it hits the beach, you've got water going that way and you've got water coming in this way. And what happens, it causes the, the wave to rise like this. And it's called a little, it's called a, like, a, a, like a wavelet. So you get that up and around motion. And basically what happens, that wave gets so high that it falls over. And it goes like that, whoosh, like that. And that's, that's how waves form, basically. That's how waves form. So you've got the rush of the under, undercurrent and the rush of the top current and it causes the wave to tip over on itself and fall and collapse. And that's how waves, that's how waves are formed. So you have, a, have, a, have that in your mind. Have that in your mind. Like that. There we are. We're not going to do any more to that at the moment because we want to put some detail in there. So I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to use the same brush. And I want to put some, I want to put some clouds in just to, so it's same brush taking a little bit of taking a little bit of paint off my brush there. I don't want it, I don't want too much. And we're just skulking a few clouds like that. Shh. Simple. Don't think about it. Shh. Wispy, wispy clouds. Nice summer's day. Wispy, wispy, wispy. Nice summer's day. And down there we can get a few brighter clouds in. Because we've already put the the white in, so we just put some highlights in like that. Helps to wash the brush to get that blue and yellow out. Sometimes I forget. I do. I'm a human being at the end of the day. There we go. Can I get some then? I tell you what, there's somebody going on holiday. Look. There you go. One of those little jet streams you see in the sky. Maybe it's somebody else going the opposite direction. There you go. Simple, simple sky, simple sky, simple sky. You can make them a bit bigger if you wanted to. If you wanted to, if you wanted to remake them fluffy. Put some more highlights on things like that. And the art of painting clouds is not paint clouds. Don't don't think about clouds. You think about clouds, but don't sit there and do this. Because it might take you a long time to actually develop a cloud shape and it looks too clumpy. So you want you want clouds are loose and free and they just floating around in the sky. They haven't got a care in the world and they're just doing their own thing. And that's all you want to do. So when you paint a cloud, you do again. Um, let's put one in there. All we're going to do is just shh, sit back and go, eh, I can live with that. That's the way to do it. So I got a script lining brush. So let's get some my medium mix because we need a nice thin, nice thin paint. And again, we just need to put in some of these lines like this. There we go. A couple of thicker lines here and there. Not as thick as that, maybe. Put some on the back as well. Just like that. Don't forget that shape. Don't forget that shape. We got that shape going there. We can put a fill. Lines just like this. In the background. Just practice. This all I ever want to do, all I ever want to do on my on my videos is just to inspire you to, to just to have a go and, and, and try all these different techniques. All I ever want, all I ever want to do. Have a bit of fun painting along with Mad Welshman here in Wales. And 
let's get some let's get some um, Prussian blue again put in some shadows in and when you're painting things like this as I've said so many times in the past it, it'll inspire you to go and do a bigger painting and the most daunting thing in the world is to sit there and, and, and be confronted with this big canvas and you think, well, I'm going to make a paint on that. What can I paint? And, you don't, and, and people think they've got to fill every single inch of, inch of canvas up and you don't have to. You don't. But the, the easiest thing I can think of, the easiest thing, the, what I do is exactly what I'm doing here for you. When I come up with an idea of a painting and I'm thinking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a seascape today, um, and, I, and I got this idea in my mind, or I've looked at some reference photos or things like that, and, and I think to myself, yeah, I'll do a little sample painting like this, and think, is, is it going to work? Is, that, is, that, is it actually going to work? Is that going to work, maybe? And well, I, do, I do things like this then. And I think to myself, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, I, if, I, if, I, if I, I can change this, and I can change that, and, you know, I get all these different ideas in my mind and I think I could take it that way or I could take it this way and if I if I change that if I change that then that would work and I've decided just to maybe darken this area up in the under there now and I just wanted to show you that if you if you change things sometimes mid painting how we can actually change how that painting works and looks so don't be afraid to to change things when you got the opportunity to change them change them on paintings like this because this this is what this is this this is designed for you to yeah, what if I what if I change that? What if I want to make that look a little bit darker under there then? What if I bring that down there like that? If I bring in a few marks like this and there you go. What if what if what if we put some more foam patterns in there now? And this is why I love doing these type of things because it gets me to a point where I think, yeah, now I know I've got a painting that I can, I can take on to a bigger stage and, 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 and develop. And I'm quite happy with the way that is. So all I need to do is a few little tweaks here and there and I'm away. And that's, that's what, we, what we try to do on these type of paintings. It's, it's, it's not, these are not finished paintings by any, any way. Any source of the imagination, even if you're cack handed like me. What it does is allow us to just play around with the paint and experiment, maybe. There you go. Because I got a mind now, I got a mind, I got a mind, I got a mind just to get a little bit of paint and just knock that horizon back just a touch like this, just a, it's a bit bright. So if I get a little bit of white paint on my brush, there we are, and just kill the strength on that horizon like that. It makes a wave stand out a little bit more. You could put a you could put a land thing in there. You could put um, we could get a few seagulls in there if we wanted to. We could put a few little seals in there. And like that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. A touch of white like that. Yeah. You could put a land section of land in there. You could put a boat on the water. Um, 
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. There's so much you could do. So much you could do. So much you can have fun with. We could get a little bit of a greeniness going back in there like that. And I could sit here for hours just playing around with the patterns of the water. But for now, I think, I, we've got a nice little sample paint in there that we can play with. And I haven't used a hairdryer once today. So don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell.